So we're doing a little something different today. We think maybe we visited Thailand during the wrong month. We're struggling with finding um, transportation, cheap transportation within our budget. So we are actually gonna walk to the train station today. It's about a 45 minute walk um, just to see if we can get train tickets because they say they're all sold out online. The challenge with the travel that we're doing is when you have no plans, sometimes you have to make plans up at the last minute. So we're going to find our, our way out, hopefully by train. The reason why December is a little trickier is because a lot of the locals travel during December, so they book their tickets well in advance. And I guess us traveling and being budget travelers and just kind of going on a whim, it's not maybe working out for us this time, but we'll see. We can take a bus, we can take a plane, but we were wanting to take a train. It's that in, in the middle, affordable, yet something different. One of the reasons I wanted to walk is you never know what you're gonna find. We found this cool little market with all these delicious fruits. It's more of a local market. We've been staying down in the old city, which is where a lot of the travelers and tourists stay. Walking to the train station, we're definitely getting out of that area. And it's cool to kind of see some more of the Chiang Mai Thailand culture and vibes. Once again, should have brought my fishing pole. stopped at this uh, little cafe for some breakfast. Oh wait, wait, I'm calling it lunch. Trevor's calling it breakfast. It is noon and we did have a banana earlier. So let us know who's right and who's wrong. I had eggs. I can't have eggs for lunch. All right, we're gonna get in, continue our walk to the train station. Not much traffic, Trevor, huh? I tried to call you, but you didn't answer. I haven't seen a pain phone for a while. So the funny thing is, we're walking to the train station for an hour. I tried to call them, but I couldn't figure out how from two different phones, my cell phone and our hotel phone. That's why we're walking. So we actually still have a week and a half before we have to be back to Bangkok. But since the trains are so booked out, we're honestly just coming here to see when we could get a ticket. And then that will depend on what we do next in Thailand. Whether we stay up north longer or go maybe go check out some beaches down south. All right, we made it. Hopefully we get something. When number one, the train station was open. In the past, we've been to train stations where they're not open uh, unless there is a train actively arriving or leaving. Win number two is they had tickets. We are so excited. If you cannot find train tickets online, definitely just go to the train station. I think they hold a certain amount there and you can just purchase them there. So we ended up buying a first class overnight sleeper ticket to Bangkok and it takes about 12 hours, I believe. So should be interesting to take a sleeper train. $38, we have a ride back to Bangkok for $8 a piece. My only connection with a train is my dad and I used to put pennies on the railroad track when I was a kid. Don't do that. Lindsay's connection with a train is her father is a retired train engineer. Hi, Dad. All right, so this little sign is right outside of the train station. There are these little red trucks you can take around town, 
Um, so I think now that it's like what one or two in the afternoon and like 95 degrees out, we are gonna grab one of these little trucks for 30 baht per person, which is less than a dollar per person. Found our little red truck. Okay, so these little red trucks stop um, every once in a while to pick people up and drop people off. All you have to do, there's a bell in here that you ring to get off and then to get in, you kind of just give them a little wave and they pull over and they let you in. But it is a very cheap, affordable way to get around town here in Chiang Mai. Here's some people getting on. They're showing them where they're going. They may or may not get a ride, depending on the direction and location. There is no official public transportation. This is the transportation. Thank you. We just got dropped off. We're at the main gates. To the old city. This is We've been staying here. This is where a lot of tourists and travelers stay. And it's a popular location to take photos, day and night. All right, so we were headed back to the hotel to finish our planning, but of course, two hours after breakfast slash lunch, whatever you want to call it, somebody's hungry. Are we getting that? Oh, look at that. that. So we have been to this restaurant a couple times and the waitress just remembered our order. <laughs> Trevor's getting some Tau soy, Tau chicken. soy chicken, which we absolutely love and I'm gonna get another smoothie. All of this for 99 baht, which is $2.75. Ah. Yummy. Does this look familiar? It should. I've had this five times now. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. <laughs> I think between the two of us, we get it at least once a day. Yeah. It's closed. Aww. Is that a penny? 